Hey, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a hands-on approach to uh, Wiz's security posture management platform and showing you how you can connect it to Azure. And to demo this, what we're going to do is deploy a vulnerable virtual machine in Azure. Um, then we're going to set up Wiz to connect to our Azure environment and show you how to do this and allow it to scan and uncover, um, see what kind of vulnerabilities we find, see what kind of misconfiguration or configuration there is, um, and understand what kind of technologies might be there and, and just explore the Wiz platform um, for it. So whether you're a security enthusiast or an Azure user looking to enhance your security portion, uh, this might be a nice video for you to see what you can get out of Wiz itself. So first thing we're gonna do, um, let's jump in and take a look at this Wiz platform. This is how the Wiz dashboard looks like. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is deploy the vulnerable VM um, inside Azure, just for our testing purposes. We're gonna configure the VM to simulate common security weaknesses uh, so we can understand some of the risks associated with vulnerable assets. <clears throat> so once this VM is deployed, then we're going to go into the Azure Connector deployment itself. So as we're seeing here, we got the VM deployed. Uh, we're setting up the storage accounts. The VNets are set up, uh, and the container is done. So once we do this, we want to get the Azure Connector deployed. We log into our Wiz portal. Uh, we want to make sure we have the necessary permissions and roles in Azure <clears throat> to be able to configure this. Um, first thing we do is we select the Wiz Azure app. Uh, we can deploy this based on uh, either Bash script, uh, Terraform manual. <clears throat> we grab the Azure tenant ID in here. And then we need to make sure those, of course, we grant specific permissions. So in this use case, we're going to use the subscription ID in here. And then we're going to scroll down. Uh, what you're going to see is this bash file. We're not going to press continue yet. We're going to copy this bash file, this script, and we're going to execute it inside of our terminal. And this takes a couple minutes, five, 10 minutes to do. So we're just going to fast forward through this process um, as it starts applying the configuration in here. I believe it takes like 10 minutes for this to get deployed. Almost done. So in the meantime, we can see we have our storage account up here. We have a public IP addresses of this device. So as you can see, this takes a couple minutes to get running. There we go. So now that that is deployed, we go back to our Wiz portal <clears throat> itself, and we click on the bottom here, deployment completed, ready to... Uh, complete the connector setup. <clears throat> so we have to check that off. We click on continue. And now the process starts initializing. So now Wiz is going to connect to your Azure environment, um, ensuring really secure communication between the two itself. And really what's going to happen here and is the final part is we're going to perform a or Wiz is going to perform a comprehensive uh, workload scanning using the Wiz SPL. <clears throat> Connecting Wiz to the Azure environment is going to discover all the resources in here. It's going to identify and prioritize uh, specific vulnerabilities and your workloads. It's going to start detecting misconfiguration and compliance. Um, it's going to review any end of life technology lists within your environment, which is super cool. And really the results of this scan allows you to take actionable steps towards remediation. So we can see that uh, this was completed. So it initialized it scanned the environment <clears throat> in here. Um, and what we can use is we can use the explore and the security graph by 
just literally typing in the VM um, name. So I'm just going to get the name of the VM, that vulnerable web app we deployed. We're going to plop that in there. So we can see our resources deployed. It has a lot of information about our resource, uh, name, provider, um, subscription, et cetera. Uh, more information about it. We see that there's seven critical and like 71 high, um, high vulnerabilities up to it. It's got an unpatched OS. There's running end of life technologies on here. Um, we can click on the vulnerability section and we get a list of all the vulnerabilities uh, component names, versions, uh, where's the fixed versions, um, what are the vulnerabilities, either critical or high, what's the path in here. Uh, and you can dive into that. We can get configuration specifics about the VM, about the host, how the network is set up, is the IP address publicly available, what are the subnets, what are the VNets configured, what are any security policies, how are the network interfaces, what are the identity set up? Are there any secret findings in here? Are there any private keys? Are there any certs um, itself? What are the applications running on this box? Um, <clears throat> and what kind of data is being stored? Uh, what does the inventory look like itself? So we see code, other files um, itself. We see uh, tons of definitely information in this product um, that helps us really understand um, really what is happening in here. If we go back um, into here, really the scan just allowed us to detect all these vulnerabilities on this one application um, itself. And the real reason, and it was really simple to deploy. Literally, we just went to settings, development, added to it. Now we have this whole environment scanned and all the information on it. Um, and the big reason why use Wiz with the SPL on Azure is one, uh, it's really a unified security view, like a unified dashboard, get a centralized dashboard of all your cloud resources, everything about it, provide us, it actually provides us with real time threat detections. So we can stay ahead with instant alerts and potential risks and the classifies things. So we can look at important things that we need to and it provides really seamless integration. So easily integrating within existing Azure services and workflow. Deploying this is less than 30 minutes, other than it takes 30 minutes to install the connector and the security graph takes 30 minutes to scan. But after that, we have all this data constantly being pulled and helping our security team, our DevOps team, be able to um, understand what vulnerabilities uh, are in this environment so we can go ahead and start remediating um, the findings itself. It's pretty cool. We even see kind of end of life uh, technologies that are there um, that we can identify um, with the product. <clears throat> so really this was a quick guide on how you can uh, quickly connect your Wiz environment with Azure and automatically start getting um, data from your subscriptions, your tenants, uh, your cloud environment. Awesome, thank you very much. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe.